welcome to another what we ate for dinner this week video. I think I only have one real new recipe in this week. On Sunday we went out to dinner. We went to the Olive Garden. This is my plate. I had chicken parmesan with some spaghetti. I actually will have to say I think the Olive Garden is really going downhill. On Monday we went ahead and did that beef roast that I brought home from the grocery store. That's just a seasoning pack that I'm mixing up with some water. Once the meat's in there, I throw in the vegetables that came in the pack. Sometimes I take the time to go ahead and cut up the potatoes. This was not one of those times. I went ahead and combined that, and then I just poured it over the top. And sometimes I will add a can of like cream of golden mushroom, but I didn't, or a can of golden mushroom, but I didn't bother to do that this time around. And I just popped the lid on. And then I let it cook on low for eight hours and it turned out really well. This is what it looked like all together. Those are some little rolls that I had in the freezer that we used. And then we had that with that honey cinnamon bread, uh, butter that I brought home from Walmart. If you can find it, I highly recommend it. You guys, it was really, really good. Okay. The next night we just did pork chops and rice casserole. I showed you this in another video. It's a very simple meal to put together. It's just cream of chicken, cream of mushroom, butter, milk, and rice, and pork chops. And you, bit, you after you brown the pork chops and cook the, the soups and milk for a little while, you combine them and then you wrap it in a foil and you bake it at 275 for two hours. It takes a little while, but it is well worth it. And this is what it looked like when it was all served up. I think I had about half a pork chop in this one because they were kind of big. Uh, and some broccoli. I put cheese on my kids' broccoli, and I think I just seasoned mine and my husband's with a little bit of garlic and wine seasoning from the melting pot. And I think that's all we did. I don't think we had anything else with this one. Wednesday, we had an appointment, so we were kind of busy. Um, I ended up getting the kids McDonald's. Wesley has chicken nuggets. He had fries, but he ate them all already, and apple slices. And Isabel had a cheeseburger, fries, and apple slices, and I think she also had milk. Wesley's having some congestion issues, so I didn't let him have milk. I think he was just drinking water this night. My husband brought something home for himself and, and me. And this was a new-to-us recipe. This is a chicken barbecue pasta. These are some of those chicken breasts that I brought home in the grocery haul that were only uh, the bag was five dollars i will say there was a lot of fat on these that i had to trim off um so that was kind of disappointing but it is what it is and i will say this recipe was really good it was more time consuming than i thought it was going to be but it was really good now you'll see i'm putting them after i cut them up into this little container over here that's because i was prepping this stuff in the bacon earlier in the day because i had time um and you'll see every once in a while I'm glancing off screen or off the camera. It's because Benji was sitting in his little swing watching the show that he likes to watch, which is called The Wonder Balls. It's just got bright colors and classical music in it. And um, it was keeping him entertained and he was making all sorts of cute little baby noises while I was doing this. So the, he likes to nap in his swing sometimes and I'm okay with that because I can keep an eye on him and get other stuff done. I will say the only thing I can't do with him and his swing, because he will not sleep through it, is vacuuming. The vacuuming is almost guaranteed to make him wake up and cry. The sound of the vacuum freaks that kid out. So that's something we usually have to have him in another room for. If I'm going to vacuum, he has to be somewhere else. And that's just the one noise that really seems to freak him out. I mean, he'll sleep through most anything else, though. And you'll see I'm going to take these other two out, but you won't see me cut them up. I think the only reason I used three, because the recipe calls for two, is that I thought this last one I pulled out was small. Alright, and here's bacon. I should have used kitchen shears, but mine were actually um, dirty and needed to be cleaned. And instead of taking the time to clean them, I was just like, I'll just go ahead and use a knife. And this was probably the wrong kind of knife to use for this too. So, yeah, I was working against myself the entire time here. Um... <laughs> So yeah, just dice it up and you won't see me cut up this whole thing either. You'll just see me cut up a little bit of it, but I will say you use the entire pound and 
it will tell you in the recipe to cook the chicken and onions. I didn't include onions because nobody but me likes them in my family. Um, in the bacon grease, it produces so much bacon grease that I would really recommend that you drain at least part of it because there is just so much that is left in the pan from uh, all the bacon cooking up. And even when you see what I filmed, I think I had to drain part of it twice. And here is the bacon and here. And here's one thing I didn't consider was how long this much bacon was going to take to crisp up. And I should have taken that into consideration and I didn't. And that's one of the reasons that this took so long. Um, I would say altogether this meal probably took about 45 minutes. But there you'll see it's getting nice and done. And you can already see in the pan how much bacon or how much grease this bacon has done. This is the chicken. Now you're supposed to brown the chicken in there until there's, you know, it's cooked through and it's nice and brown. I like to make mine kind of crispy on the outside. So I cook mine for a while. So that's it when it's done. And then I drained more of the bacon grease there. I add the bacon back to it. That's two thirds of a cup of barbecue sauce. I just use the Great Value original flavor. And then there's, you add one half cup of sour cream. <clears throat> Excuse me, my allergies are bothering me. And there's the sour cream. And then you mix that together. And then you add a cup of cheddar and a cup of mozzarella. And you stir that up a little bit. You get it nice and combined. And then you add the pasta back to here. And you combine that up. And this made a lot. We have leftovers, so... And you could top it with more cheese if you wanted, I'm sure. But we thought this tasted fantastic. We will definitely be making this again. Friday was pizza night. Like usual, we ordered pizza rolls. Not expecting it to be this gigantic. But here it is. On Friday night, we...